Bailey from Making Up the Midwest. In this video, I'm going to share with you a review and demo of a brand new curling doodad that is out there. It is the Kiss Insta Wave. This retails for $59.99, and you can find it at stores like Ulta, among other places. They actually sent this to me so that I can have a chance to try it out, share my honest opinions with you, and so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get into it. To start, it looks just like an abbreviated curling iron. The difference between this and a regular curling iron is that it's automated to some extent. You can see here there is just a big button there to heat settings, low and high. I tend to put it to high because my hair holds curl better when it's on the highest setting. So two heat settings and then there is this big giant button. One goes left and one goes right depending on your orientation. Basically it determines which way this thing curls. So you can do cur curls that face both away from your face as well as to your face and this is what controls it. So very simple device. There's not a whole lot to it. You can see the wand itself kind of looks like a regular curling wand. It's shorter than normal but it has these kind of spiky looking things around it. These are things to catch your hair. Essentially the way this works is you hold it vertical like this. You don't want to hold it horizontal like you might other normal curling wands. You want to keep it horizontal. You take a piece of your hair, as I'm sure you'll see in the demo right now, and then you choose the orientation you want, whether it's left or right. You press the button in the direction you want it to go, and it will sweep your hair up in using these little prongs and twirl it around the iron. Something I want you to note about this demo is that this is me using this device for the first time. I, I unwrapped it. This is the first time I'm touching it, holding it, using it. So I really wanted to get an idea for how simple this is right out of the box. I have to say it's kind of a no-brainer. It's really nice to use and I love the fact that it's open here on top. So in the event that you have a snarl in your hair, one of these things gets caught and it's not completely smoothed out, you haven't like brushed it thoroughly beforehand, you can always just pearl, pull it out from the bottom and it's no harm, no foul. It's not It's not easy to damage your hair with this. It's not easy to get it stuck in here, and I love that about it. Another thing I really like about this is you can put any size piece of hair you want into this, if that makes sense. Unlike some of the devices, namely uh, the Con Air Curl Secret that I just did in a video, you have to be sort of particular with the size of hair, the, sex, the size of the section of hair you put in there because it won't work if you put a section that's too big. This, on the other hand, you can really go through sort of haphazardly, kind of hold your hair there like this would absolutely work. You do this, you hold this in front of it, you twirl the direction you want, and it will sweep it up in there. It might get caught on a tangle or two, but nothing that you can't either work through with this device or pull it out and brush it through and redo it again. It does accept all sizes of hair, which I think is fantastic. It's not really persnickety in that way. However, I do find that if your hair is completely smoothed all the way through, these little tongs, because I have, I tend to have thin or fine hair, these tongs don't grab onto it as well as they might others with thick or more coarse hair. And so I find that if I'm putting a section of hair in here, it will only get about halfway up my uh, my hair or my strand if that makes any sense. So I can't get a full on spiral curl like from root to tip because my hair just doesn't essentially get caught up in the device like it maybe needs to in order to curl it up all the way that far. It just keeps spinning and spinning and nothing happens. So that might be one downside for those of you finer hair girls who really want those tight little ringlets. But beyond that, it functions really, really well. They also mentioned that there are different kinds of curls you can get from this. And like I said, there are only two different kinds of settings here, so it's not terribly complicated the way they say to alter the kind of curl you get, whether it's a tight little spiral curl or a long beachy wave, is for how the duration you keep your hair in this gadget. So if you want tighter bound curls, you keep it in there for longer, say 10 seconds, and if not, you pull it out at five. I personally find that it doesn't make much of a difference with my hair. Maybe it will with yours. Maybe changing the size of the section will make a difference for you as well. But I think the biggest factor that alters the kind of curls you get with this device is the direction in which you curl. In fact, they recommend kind of alternating the directions that you do to make the curls look more natural. It's not all going away or all going towards your face. Mix it up so it looks a little more natural, tousled, beachy something like that. But beyond that, I don't really see a way to really change the kind of curl you get with this. Ultimately, I have to say I really recommend this. I think it's a really nice, convenient device to have. Another thing I want to mention about this that I haven't found with any other devices is that it does have like a quiet, high-pitched 
hum when you plug it in, even if it's not on, if you have it in the off setting, the second you plug it in, there is kind of a high pitched hum with it, which they say is totally normal, but it's definitely something that sets it apart and not necessarily in a good way from other curling devices. So just so you're aware in the event you have one, it's a totally normal feature, but it's definitely something you'll notice when you get it. All in all, I really recommend this. I think it's a super easy device to use straight out of the box and it does exactly what it says it's, it, it's going to do. It makes the job of curling your hair easier. I personally found it to do it faster. Today I created this hairstyle in about five minutes. I had my hair pre-washed and dried from the night before. Just went in, like I said, with bigger sections because you can do that with this kind of tool. Bigger sections, wrapped it up in there, multitask it's tasted, multitasked, multitasked, sipped some coffee, ate my breakfast, and then just kind of went on haphazardly creating these loose curls like this. It worked beautifully and it is now like eight hours later, later and they are still in my hair. So I think it works really effectively. It's a very simple device to use and it makes curling your hair easier. So those are my thoughts on the Kiss Instaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to check out some of the others I have. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!